What's going on guys, back with another video. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to disconnect the ECU from the 350Z, so let's get to it. All right guys, it's a little cramped over here, so I'm gonna show you as best as possible how to remove this ECU and disconnect the wires out of it. So first we're going to go into the passenger side over here. So the first thing we need to do in order to disconnect this ECU is pull up this little side panel. It's just held on by clips so you'll just pop it out. Be careful not to break too many clips if any. All right, so once you have that out, you're gonna take off this little plastic bolt right here. Um, just like everything else with the rest of this car, that bolt's missing. And then you're gonna disconnect. There's two plastic clips located in here. You might need to pull this weather stripping back a little bit so that you could get to them. All right, I had to use both hands to get it off, but as you can see, there's these two clips. Um, you just gotta pull them straight out as possible. You don't wanna break these because there's not really any replacing these things because they're actually part of this. You'll have to replace this whole thing if you break them. So this is a DE, so the next thing you're gonna wanna do is pop out this cup holder and just pull it straight out. Should come out pretty easily. And then there's a bolt that's right up in here. So then you wanna go ahead and get this 10 millimeter bolt off. It's right where the cup holder should be. Next you'll wanna come over to the door side over here and then there will be another 10 millimeter bolt and then a Phillips head bolt right here. So you'll take those two off. And after that's off, you should be able to just pull it out. There you go. So that part's off now. You can see the ECU here and to disconnect it, all you do is there's a little tab right here on this lever. You pull it down and push and then it just disconnects. And then there's this white one you gotta disconnect to. It's got a little gray lever. I had to use a screwdriver to pry it out a little bit before I could get it to release. And then you just pull this piece straight down. Then you got one more little white clip right over here that you'll just take a screwdriver and pop out. I'm going to go ahead and use two hands to get that one out because it's a little difficult with one. So I'm going to go ahead and get that disconnected real quick. Alright, so now that those are all disconnected, now I can pull them through the firewall of the car. If you're trying to actually remove the ECU, the last thing you need to do is get this last 10 millimeter bolt here and disconnect this little zip tie from this wire and then the ECU will just slide right out. The only thing holding it on is that bolt so if you need to get your ECU out that's how you'll do it. Just take off that one last bolt and then it'll just come out after disconnecting all these wires. Alright so now that all the wires are removed from the car on the inside and disconnected from the ECU we're gonna come out here Take this little rubber grommet off and pull the wires straight through the firewall. And then disconnect these three plugs right here. And then we should be able to get this whole wiring loom off so we could get the engine out. This is probably going to be stuck on there pretty well since it's probably never been removed. So we're going to see if we could take this little pry tool and just pry this grommet off. There you go, so once I was able to get this little grommet removed and these three plugs unplugged, there's also a little zip tie, I just cut that because I have a bunch of replacements. Um, once I was able to get those removed though, this came out pretty easily, just pull it straight through the hole. That's what she said! <laughs> um, I would probably be careful not to tear this up because it's the only thing that keeps water from going into your car and from getting to your engine management, so. You want to keep this intact, that way you don't destroy anything. So that's how you disconnect your ECU cables. And the next video I'm going to be doing is actually taking this engine out of the car. So stay tuned for that. If you like the video, like and subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know. And have a good one, guys.